you were homeless for eight and a half years. What, how do people look at you when you're homeless in Calgary? Generally, they try to avoid looking at me. I remember how I was treated on the streets. And I don't think ending homelessness is a realistic goal. But I do think, you know, making it so that people who are homeless don't have to feel like they're humiliated all the time. Yeah. So that be, that um, making it safe for them. I think the perception is Calgarians are very generous and we're a volunteer city and things like that. Is that your perception? Uh, I do think they're generous. I think their hearts are in the right places. It seems to think that a lot of it is throw money at the problem and it'll go away. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know anything about the issue, so we're going to trust this charity to know what they're doing and throw our money at it. Now that you're off the streets, what are you doing to help homeless Calgarians? I basically try and change how people think about homelessness. I raise them aware, I try to raise awareness of what it's actually like on the streets. Try and get the idea that people who are homeless do actually face real discrimination. Everyone's at a different point in life. Like, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a housing facility that has programming operated by CUPS but has very minimal supports. There are a lot of people out there with severe mental illness who would never be able to function in something like, in a place okay. like that. Do you fear being homeless again? Every day I have this fear that all I need is one thing to go wrong and I can be back in the shelter again. We have reduced the number of homeless in uh, Calgary from uh, almost 6,000 10 years ago to 3,200 two years ago. The Calgary Homeless Foundation, they've actually done a very good job of uh, listening to the homeless community. Right now, a lot of the help being offered to the community is based on preconceived notions of what, what homelessness is and what homelessness means. We're tackling the stigma-based issues, but we're not tackling the actual stigma. We need to start like giving responsibilities to people who are homeless and trusting them, empowering them. What we need is, again, uh, society to start realizing um, the actual oppression that's occurring, the actual discrimination, the segregation, uh, the assaults, the violence, and to start saying that uh, this isn't okay, mm -hmm. it's not okay to treat homeless people this way. And when that starts happening, mm -hmm. then I think we'll start seeing a huge cultural shift in uh, how charities operate or whether charities are even sustainable under such a model.